So this is a video that I didn't think I had to make, but since it's been making rounds, especially in the Call of Duty community, I might as well make it. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be questioning where the hell is Modern Warfare 3 in a nutshell? Well, recently there's been some backlash about some things in the Call of Duty community. One of those things is something I use and I've been upfront about using it and I wanted to get it out in the air and give my honest opinions on it before posting any other Call of Duty content. And that thing that I use is re w a s d or whatever the hell people call it like re wasd or some stupid shit like that now a lot of you might be wondering what the hell is re w a s d re w a s d is a emulation software basically you can emulate a ps4 controller an xbox controller a mouse a keyboard and the main point of the program is basically if you have a mouse and keyboard but you want it to be recognized as a controller for a certain game it can be if you want to program a controller to be recognized as a keyboard or mouse for a game that doesn't have controller support you can do that and so on and so forth recently this program has been brought up because people have been using it to cheat they have been keybinding their keyboard and mouse to be recognized as a controller which then would give their mouse aim assist and like i said in the beginning of this i do use re wasd but not for that reason so i'm actually going to pull up my profile here real quick of re wasd so this right here is my profile for re wasd recently i decided to challenge myself and use controller and mouse i've been wanting to get better with my aim and i felt really sluggish on controller especially as someone who turns off their aim assist it got really slow i couldn't get much done my kd was really bad so i decided to learn how to aim with mouse now one of the big problems with doing keyboard and mouse is my left hand i played football i fucked up both of my hands i have real bad arthritis in my left hand and playing keyboard and mouse especially if for someone who has arthritis it can become a pain in the ass and now you might be saying oh but using controller and mouse you still have arthritis it's gonna hurt your hand it doesn't hurt it as much as you think but as you can see here with my setup this is the only config file i have here i can get that menu open this is the only config file i have and basically what this does is it switches my stick on my controller which this is my controller right here it's a 15 dollar power a controller it switches the stick to be recognized as the wasd keys and that's it literally this is all i use it for so just to show here i literally just open call of duty just for this reason if we go to my menu here we'll go to my settings i think we'll go to controller as you can see here aiming device is my mouse so it is recognizing me as mouse and keyboard it is not recognizing me as controller and if we go over here to aim this is the one thing even when i do play on controller here and there because i do switch back and forth here and there just to see how it is we go down here i keep my aim assist off so yeah if they trying to say i'm abusing aim assist this is proof right here oh but you could just turn it back on after you're done recording the video if y'all see me when i stream half the time i have my moments where i do pop off and i have my moments where i'm dog shit and the other thing as well and i'm going to show this as well i only have a 0.96 kd my kd is not the best i am an average player so yeah i wanted to get that out of the way a lot of people have been calling for re wasd to be banned people have been saying it's a to make it a bannable offense and to basically say that re wasd is on the level of a cronus now i'm gonna say this right now do i believe players who use re wasd to get aim assist on their mouse do i believe they should be punished absolutely do i believe the application should be seen as bannable no if you are on keyboard and mouse and you're using it like as a controller that's being emulated i think the game would be able to tell that you're using a mouse and not using a basically a joystick that's just me though and again i use a setup that not many other call of duty players use so what are my, so my final thoughts because again this is a very short video my final thoughts are if activision is really wanting to push to actually crack down on people who abuse re WASD for the wrong reasons. I feel like what should happen is they should work with like the software as a whole, work with the software and identify who is using it for that malicious intent. And then you got people like me who are using it in the sense of basically not fully disabled, but in a way, an easier way for me to play mouse and keep quote, quote, mouse and keep. This is a software that I found early on I never used it until I was like, I want to try it. And literally the only thing I did was learn how to map the joystick to be like a keyboard. And that's basically it. I want to know what you guys think down below. I wanted to get this out of the way before I keep going with, especially this camo grind. And then basically I start getting 
quote quote canceled because oh i use re wasd but let me know what you guys think down below all right like and subscribe